Happy Tuesday. I just went for a long, well, I went for a brief jog up to the park where we had the peaceful gathering of hands and I started doing some yoga there and I felt really tired so I decided to take a nap and uh, so I just laid down in the grass with my shirt on and then when I got up I was still feeling kind of unbalanced and stuff and I was still laying on my stomach on the grass and I looked down and there was a piece of gum stuck to my chest, a green piece of gum. And as I tried to lift up away from the earth, the piece of gum like stretched between me and the earth and it was right at my heart pretty much. And also right above my solar plexus. <laughs> and I've recently been having some tension in my solar plexus, um, like right here in the middle upper part of my stomach. And it was just so funny to me that um, the earth, it was just like a weird synchronicity telling me basically to stay connected to the earth by this piece of gum. And I was thinking about just jogging home and, and getting something to eat because I felt kind of unbalanced. And oftentimes when I feel unbalanced, I, I just eat food instead of trying to figure it out. Um, but anyway, I decided to do some yoga in the park barefoot and it just completely balanced me out and completely got rid of all the tension in my chest and it was just the perfect solution to the weird feelings that I was having. And so the title of this video is Our Natural State of Wholeness because I believe that our our most basic state is one of peace and balance and wholeness and our whole society is playing this crazy game trying to convince us to get more and more and more stuff and cover up this but we already have happiness and peace if we just kind of rest into it and relax into it and that's what yoga the word yoga means union so it's union with our natural self which is connected to everything and if we just practice yoga with a wonderful yoga mat I highly recommend getting a yoga mat if you don't I mean I just did it in the grass but I like to do it inside too but yoga allows me to just connect with what I already have and uh, the word vinyasa which is this style of yoga that I usually do is it literally means, vinyasa means to remove obstacles or to flow. So <clears throat> we're naturally peaceful people. We just have all these obstacles and layers of, of crap on top of it. And if we peel back those layers, then it's just incredible amounts of peace and joy and all these other things. Um, there's also a quote that says, happiness isn't attaining what you don't have it's being grateful for what you already have and um, that's why I try to practice gratitude for all the things I have just constantly saying I'm thankful for my healthy feet I'm thankful for my healthy legs I'm thankful for my healthy uh, spine you know because I've had all these injuries and we often forget how blessed and gift gifted we are all the time it's just a matter of where we park our awareness and um, back to eating my next video is going to be all about this book the yoga of eating by charles eisenstein it is such an amazing revolutionary paradigm shattering book all about how we can use eating to come into this natural state of wholeness and uh, it's just so beautiful so I highly recommend yoga and back to the society telling us to get more stuff I am a huge advocate for not buying really anything except food and shelter but or very basic things and books but I do highly recommend if you're looking for a pair of shoes these vibram five finger shoes 
I feel is a way to come into our natural state of wholeness because when I run in these I just feel like a human an indigenous human not some uh, manufactured consumer Western culture confused person um, that society wants me to be or whatever um, so I highly recommend those and there's millions of other ways to come into our natural state of wholeness just going into nature going into a natural ecosystem just brings you into that state of peace which you already have within you all the time so I highly recommend going to nature it's just all about dissolving the boundaries removing the obstacles and being grateful for what we already have our natural state of wholeness and fullness because as Modest Yahoo says um, <laughs> I'll just I'll post the link to King Without a Crown it's an amazing video peace and love and happiness and scoobly doobly doo don't take life too seriously